In this video, we'll learn about the topic named as option explicit. What exactly is an option explicit? Let me try to tell you with the help of this example. On this screen, if you see, I've written a code here that is dim tutorials. I've declared a variable named as tutorials. I've assigned some value that is 20 to that variable. I'm trying to display it with the help of message box tutorials, right? Now, when I try to execute it, see what happens. It will execute and it will give me the answer. I'll click on this run, click on this run button. So it's giving me the answer as 20, which is absolutely correct. Okay, it's working fine. I've got the result. I'll just close this result part here. Now, suppose by mistake, this message box tutorials, if I've removed some spelling from here, instead of tutorials, I've just removed S. So when I try to execute this, what will happen? If I click on this run button, click on this run, right? You see my cursor is coming and stop at this place, message box tutorial, and it says as empty. What is the reason is, this is one variable which is declared tutorials. This is one variable which is not declared. If it is not declared, but it is used at some place. Why it is so? Because VB scripting supports implicit and explicit declaration of variables. If you have seen the first video, you'll come to know. So it supports both of them. So therefore it is showing us blank. But now I need to take care about the, those things where the variables are not declared. Because if I keep on getting this kind of messages, then my script will fail properly, right? So I'll just click on OK. So what is the method? So what is the method I should understand which type of variable should not be, you know, undeclared variable should throw an error message. So uh, for example, message box tutorial, it should actually throw a message. There is no variable declared as tutorial. So for that, I have to use option explicit. Option explicit forces your VB scripting UFT to declare a variable before using it. So if you don't declare and you start using it, you get an error message. So you can see here, I'll just type here as option explicit, right? And now if I try to execute, if I click on this run button, click on this run. Now if you see, I've got a run error which says a variable is undefined. The name of the variable is tutorial which line number you have got the error, it says line number eight message box. So if you see in line number eight, I have used that message box utility and I'm getting the error message. So, okay. So I'll just click on this stop button and the execution will stop, right? I'll just close it. So it is suggested always to use option explicit because the code is very small. So you easily can find out the mistakes, but imagine the code is very large, thousand lines of automation scripts. So how will you find out? So better you use this option as options explicit and it will help you a lot. That's all for this video.